Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones where we are continuing as Emperor Maegor of New Valyria. Now with our, our lovely children, Aenar, Aenys and Hera, who I'm going to be giving etiquette. Could possibly marry to... Oh no, Aenar and Aenys are twins, but yes, it, it wouldn't matter which age it is, but I believe since... Uh, Einar was born first, quote unquote, despite being twins, that he is the heir. Oh, he's actually a good. Um... Get a previously unknown warrior to handle this. Oh, and Jane looks work. Uh, it was successful. Can I... Is he a commander now in my army, or is he just a general guy? Can't appoint him as a commander. Oh, because I don't have a commander slot. Uh, okay. That is unfortunate. Because he probably would have been very good at it. A thousand light infantry? What? Oh, Ifelix has a new rider. My half brother, Rogar of Yunkai, is Ifelix's rider. Ifelix now 149 years old. That is quite incredible. Because we discovered there's quite a lot of problem with Calf. If we wanted to conquer it. Calf is just... It's almost too strong for us to handle. But mm, my eyes do turn back to Lorath, Norvos, Kofa, all of these. And I think an attack on Lorath could be a wise idea. I mean, they, they're not strong at all and they have no allies. <laughs> Honestly, they may even step back. We have a, we have a royal claim on them. Interesting. What is the royal claim? He's a Dejure vassal of New Valyria, so we can push him through that way, or through Dragon Conquest. Which would be better? Hmm. All parts held in the name of Emperor Maegor, which are legally part of his realm, are returned. If I lose... Oh, that's if I lose... But I become his new lead if I win. So it's not the exact same, but I get more prestige from Dragon. Yeah, I get more prestige. But I can't pick it because my Dragon doesn't have 10. Surely he has 10 Marshall, doesn't he? Still wounded. Oh dear. Uh, well, we, I don't want to use him in combat anyway because he is wounded. So we'll use the Royal Claim then. I get Lorath uh, under the throne. Everybody rising up their armies. Let's just raise the local levies here. I don't know, I meant to do the other one. Whoops. Uh, and then we'll have Norkos, Norko, and Mesahil with him. Or maybe my wife. No, we'll, we'll only use my wife when I'm leading the army, because uh, she obviously she now has a dragon, but her dragon is oh, no, she now has a dragon, but it's very young still, right? Yeah, it's only three years old. I don't want to spend anything on food. I just forgot that I have to. Whoops. Right, let's get over to Borath, and then we can get Norvos, and I think probably Kahiris as well. And having all of these will make us pretty strongly united. And then I probably won't even have to worry about the fact that Calf is apparently near impossible to siege. The watch has already arrived. Oh, but they might get beat by that army. I lead my army, Lord Bathan. It's been an attempt on her life. Uh, he's not guilty. He could never be guilty. Well, 
The guy who's leading my armies right now, he'd never do anything wrong. And now someone else is making a claim against Lord Bathen. Uh, pay just compensates. Uh, the Lord Treasurer of Valyria has been, presented, has been presented to court. A list of damages caused by a weir built by the people of the Dragon's Fields on the river to your demands, which has caused a great loss of coin. Ugh. Fine. Goodness me. Get a new Justicar. Very good Justicar as well, actually. Yeah, hopefully Statecraft might actually prove beneficial to us then. What an odd position for their capital to be. Not to mention that this is this is an elective title. No, this is a non-elective title. I mean, so he could have definitely got somewhere better by now. I mean, he's a king. He's no um, archon. That was quick. That was one battle. Damn me. It must be that easy. Suffer no other kings. You want your bastard to be legitimized. But you already have an heir. And this is like your 50th kid. No. Other than Carvin, obviously, Bravo. Fucking Brabo. Don't even want to deal with Brabo. Because the caps was probably somewhere absolutely absurd, right? Yep, it's over here for some reason. Norbos and Cahor. The two Cahors for some reason. I don't know what. That's somewhere there are two of them. Do they have the same sigil as well? Yeah, it's just really weird. Let's try and get Norbos in first. Again, we'll use our royal. We have a lot of claims on them, but no, we'll use our royal claim. Again, he keeps calling it civil wars. It is absolutely not civil war. I'm afraid I cannot end this war. Cause is just. So this is the war against Lys, right? Yeah. Um. Paramount. What? Did I give myself a claim to Mir? Well, well, I believe I did. Otherwise, I just gave the claim to her, which would be incredibly weird for me to do. No, I don't need him. Okay, we'll raise the local armies. It, at this point, these walls are kind of a cakewalk. All of this is just... I want to basically focus on... Getting these lands ready and getting. God, I hate that Volantis belongs to the lands. Or owns the lands of Long Summer. We want to get these lands all ready so that we can. That's bizarre. Get these done so that we could just focus on destroying. Wait, it's the Iron Throne again? What? So it's still House Plum, but now House Plum is the Iron Throne? Rather than the rock? I guess he's reunited the titles, but it certainly looks like it's come at a cost. Unless all of these guys are independent because of the, the Darkland War. Oh, people are dying of winter fever, that's fun. So he's already at war? For a slave raid on them. Okay, I don't know why young guy's doing that. But I may actually have to wait for his war to finish before I can do my one. So that's going to be fun. Let's, let's just claim all boss itself. Did she abandon her war or did she lose? Seems like she lost. She didn't take Mir itself. And these lands still belong to Mir as well. And this land she'd already taken from them. So. Is he under Mir? No, he's under me for some reason. 
Uh, it's all very odd if you ask me. God, Ed, the siege of every single siege of just been one in a day. That's I guess suppose it's because I don't have many defenders. At least they've got two castles here. New Lord of Lease. Wait, why do I have eight now? I have an eighth. So, oh, because this the city's finished. Yeah, it's good a new vessel. Well, that's good news for us. The city's finished. Um, we'll build the Valyrian mines in here. Uh, but probably the city's going to need to be upgraded like right away, right? So it'd be 200 to upgrade that. 200 to upgrade that. I can't upgrade. I assume I can't upgrade those because they're at their max. But we want to be upgrading the city throughout. Because obviously the size of the city is really important uh, for the wealth of the city. But yeah, getting this second city up and built is going to be really good for us. It's going to keep skyrocketing our income, which is exactly what we're hoping for. How close is he to losing to Yunkai? Very close. Maybe we just uh, we just wait and see if um, Yunkai is able to win theirs before we bother with ours. Ninety-eight percent. Ninety-nine. Because we're at 100 now, but I prefer to get them to 102 if we can. Maybe they've got 102. Let's get you back, because we don't need to fight anymore. Let's just see if Yunkai actually enforces their demands. Did. So now we'll offer... Uh, Ours by enforce. Oh, now he says no. Oh, I guess because he has technically more control over his land, but uh, we'll just leave our vassals to do a bit more sieging, and that will change. I just don't uh, want to waste the attrition on that army anymore. Yeah, there you go. Problem solved. And now we'll get these armies sort of under our sway a bit. And then the only thing left, really, would be Gahor, but we can save that as well. I mean, look at this. This is a very uni unified freehold. What on earth is... What? Huh? What? What? Why does he directly own these, huh? Yeah, let's get the Tujour claim back if we can, please. I look away for one second and the Faith of the Seven has conquered lands in Geese. What? But for some reason it's taken over the, the vassalage of this guy. And then we've got 30,000 raiders over here as well for some reason. How many troops does the most about even have? Twenty eight K, which is all from him. Yeah, I know the most of our obviously is actually a thing over here, but I didn't realize they could conquer land. He absolutely shouldn't be able to conquer land. He died of scurvy. That's a shame. Lives at a ripe age of 64. Let's um, raise some armies for this, I suppose. I don't know how much army I'll need, probably not this much, but we'll just end this. I want to end this war quick if we can. Lord Lainor Cinder has apparently successfully hatched a dragon.
Uh, let's get this army should be pretty good, yeah. Let's say we'll get our wife on this if we can, but it seems like she's not available as an option. Of the many years in the Free Cities, Lord Aaron has finally been released from his service to the Selsor Company and returned home. Your brother's a changed man, however. Valyria no longer holds any interest in him, and he instead speaks incessantly of a Lord of Light and the horrors that await those who refuse to convert. Well, I suppose it's good to have you back, Aaron. Even if you speak of such strange things. Probably join the Second Sons, I'd imagine. And he is the second son himself, or the, even the third, fourth son. I guarantee some of them have... Yeah, that's what I was about to say, I guarantee they're sailing over here, and yes they are, they are sailing over here to, to I guess, land in um, the Reach. Seems the Reach may be independent. Has the Iron Throne fallen apart completely? No, he's now in two wars. A war for Northern Independence. And a war... Against Duskendale, still. Goodness, the Iron Throne is a mess. Again, it's best to uh, ignore its existence. And there we go. Of course, there's going to be a crash during a war. I was saying, there's going to be a lot of uh, potential fights here. Oh, and that's the worst one. Why are they sending that tiny amount of troops to deal with that? But this footing case is going to maybe wipe out the Harpy Uprising if they meet. Need you to get back and fight them. Alyssa, Alicella, Elena, as their grandmother, yeah. Oh, that's five children, so we can switch to win the war. It is still crazy that I'm an elusive shadow. Uh, apparently I'm, I'm that incredible with uh, <laughs> intrigue. I've not really met anyone that would be good to kill, because at this level, I don't really need to fight anyone to kill, you know? Oh my god, he's under attack. <laughs> I hate you so much. Why would you even... Why? It's so annoying that he's able to do these things. Like, I'm sorry, it's just it's just absolutely stupid. And let me guess, is she under a slave raid as well? Oh no, she's in a sl uh, against a, a slave raid from the other version of me. Fine, we're getting involved in that as well, are we? Why not? Why, why don't we all just make me have less and less fun with this game by pushing me into permanent wars against the Dothraki? I mean, hey, it's the only challenge in, that's left in this game is the Dothraki, so I can't really say I'm too upset. Why do I have an army here? Why are they doing this? Just managed to secure the capital a bit. I did see, yeah, they've got troops over here for some reason. I don't think this is going to go well for them. Attempt an assault. What's the... One more I can... Bring the defenders out. Oh no, I just raised the local levies. Okay. Ugh. Fine, she can be a handmaiden. We'll keep you calm, they sell her. She in this army with me? No, apparently not. I guess she must be doing her own stuff. Yet another new dragon. This one by Alaris Cinder. The second in line of the Port of Zeiz. Interesting. Oh, because Nacelle's leading this one of these armies. Which one's she leading here? Don't. Why? Get Janix on that one. I don't want my wife leading one of the armies. That seems like it'd go bad for her. It's at least not one of the armies without me. How many do we have here? Or oh, another thousand. Yeah. Let's bring them all in on this. 
and raise the army here at the same time. Bring him in for the reinforce. Yeah, and then they're going to absolutely just take it. Oh, and that's going to beat his force down. What? What? Why has the land not been returned? What? That is literally what the war was about, gang. What is going on? And now I won't be able to go to war with him again. What? Okay, I, I think this is completely broken. We're going to quickly fix this uh, with some console commands because this is makes no sense. If we fought the war over this, I should be getting this as a war goal. So why is this guy lit up? Is it because he's the war target? Or am I at war with him for some reason? No, okay, he's, he's the war target. Right, we're going to fix this real quick. So apparently it believed that all of this was a theocracy um, under geese. Or under, um, sorry, theocracy of new geese under the most devout that uh, for some reason I couldn't get rid of. Still don't know what's going on with the Iron Throne. We're going to monitor this and see once these wars end, once the situation is. Because the Duskendale War is over, but they are still at war with the North. So they might win that one. They might not. It does look like the king got deposed or died. Oh, he died under suspicious circumstances. So it's King Herrick now. It's just a mess. <laughs> it's just a mess of a kingdom. Uh, also don't know why New Geese owns this. That is weird. Uh, I've not given the Geese back their king title. I'm going to sit on it for a while. And I've decided he's just returned from being a part of these... You know, that Cellsaw company. He's a very good stat, and he's a great fighter. So maybe, maybe, why don't we give Aaron? you know, why don't we give my brother a title? So we've made him the Lord of Geese. Don't know why he hasn't made Geese his title, and for some reason he's made somebody at his capital. I might help him fix that in the future save edits at the end of the session, because he should definitely make Geese his capital. It is a way better province. Well, just Cyrus is unhappy because I didn't give a title to him. Uh, maybe... Shut up. So it's saying we're at war... We're at... Why are we fighting this bit specifically? I'm very confused. Even though your Lee owns all of this. Is it because he called in specific vassals or something? Maybe. I have no idea. It's very weird. I'm not sure how any of it is working. Either way, I don't really... I don't really see a need to make my armies be primarily involved here. Um, these armies are going to stand down because these are sort of the uh, Valyrian armies, which are my main ones. In fact, I may also get a uh, chief, new chief general at least for one for now, and get on training troops in there. And then we're just going to get these armies, and they're just going to sort of play a, maybe a bit defensive. I don't care about these horse lord raiders. I'm not going to, with this war, constant warring with Karth has never gone well for me, and I'm not going to try again. The years of careful planning, Jairus from the court of, uh... Wait, you won? Okay. Well, you know, whatever. I don't especially care they lost. This one I'm just hoping to get to a white piece on. I assume it was her then. Yeah, but I don't know why we own this province. Again, this is a really weird one. I might genuinely give it away if I'm able to. But am I able to? Yeah, I don't care about you. <laughs> Just go be independent. I really don't need you.
Oh, that's his army there. That's what they're going for? This is really fun, where I no longer have any idea what I've talked about on video, or how long into the video I actually am, because the game just keeps crashing over and over and over again, to the degree where it is becoming incredibly difficult to make this series. I mean, I've already said that I intend to end it around 30 episodes, but getting to 30 episodes is going to be the tough bit at the moment. We'll get there. We will get there. Um, no, she's not that good. Don't really need her. Should we get siege tunnels? Oh, it's another person drinking. Everybody seems to think that they're a dragon. And then turns out none of them are. You'd be shocked how often that happens. It's just great how much I have to have I can upgrade like Valyria in these surrounding areas, just making them incredibly strong and wealthy. And then you know, I don't think we're gonna be getting up to a lot of it in what little episodes we have left. But it's just an idea of just like I don't even own all of Valyria. And that's just how strong I'm getting from Valyria alone, you know? You know, I want to, I at least before this ends, do want to have a fight for the uh, Wars in the Iron Throne. But Wars right now are causing a lot of the crashes. Wars are very buggy. But we'll see what we can do. Wow, we're barely winning this one. I guess maybe because my dragon is wounded, but we might lose this. No, I think we're going to win just off morale. Very well, you can be the king. That wall damaged really bad. And now, we, oh, and now I'm being forced into this battle. Which is actually, I'm more worried about the attrition of stepping onto that province and coming back. I just don't really want to fight him. I just want to get him to a white piece. If possible. Oh, I can't offer the white beast. My vassal has to. Ugh, so that's not going to happen. Alright, let's get this hoodie back then. That'll be a good length of the way of getting this settled. Okay, I think that one was my breaking point for today. Um, not only... You guys going back to see that crash counter that I probably have added going up one. Uh, it's crashed four times without even getting to the next save. So we're going to be ending it here because I am tired and I just would like a rest for a day after all of these crashes. Yeah, CK2 is just... Like, it, it's been so stable for me so far and I'm actually grateful for that. But we're reaching a point where I just cannot continue at the moment. I'm going to do all I can to see how much this save can be tinkered with and helped to try and make a fix. Maybe it's just because Doth Doth Raki are buggy when they're in a war. Maybe when this war's over, things stabilize a bit. But uh, I don't know. I'm not too confident. Um, I have seen that the Iron Throne's actually very close to... Oh no, they've started a new war for some reason. That's great. Have, I think these guys might return to the Iron Throne soon because they're not at war anymore. Oh, except you against the bite okay either way um consider me tired for the day we're going to be ending it here and i will be honest i will not guarantee if there is going to be a next episode or not i don't even know how long this episode's been because i've actually spent two and a half hours filming and recording but it keeps crashing and i have to keep redoing bits and i am just done for the day thank you very much <laughs> so i have no idea I would do what I can, and I truly hope that we will get things fixed up so that we can keep going and reach that episode 30 and reach the finale that this series deserves, because I've had so much fun with it, but I'm just not in the mood today to deal with CK2 crashes. With that said, whatever comes next, I hope that you will enjoy, and uh, of course when this video goes out on YouTube, there should be a House to Ron coming out right after it, so I hope you guys enjoy that at the least. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I'm also working on some other series, specifically a Victoria Free stuff and some other games, but these ones I want to make more edited and more like, uh, more condensed videos, and I'm very 
I'm looking forward to showing those off. Well, that's all for this episode, but hopefully not all from this series. I'll see what I can do. But whatever comes next, I hope you'll join me in it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Until then. <laughs>